Adam Toastmaster. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, my name is Sean Edwards, and as Kyle described, I am a paramedic of 14 years and in the business for 20. So today I'm going to take you through what is a trauma assessment, an adult trauma assessment. Now, there is no skill level. It's basic life support, BLS, but I'm also going to take you through some avenues of advanced life support, ALS, which is me as a paramedic. So we have no, not much time, so buckle in and we're going to get going. So first things first is my PPE. So that's the first mnemonic of many that I'm going to be taking you through. So PPE is Personal Protective Equipment, or BSI, Body Substance Isolation. So I'm going to make sure I have my PPE on. That is my gloves. Oh, and I'm going to have some safety glasses on for a moment, too. So now that I have my PPE on, now I'm going to see, size up the scene. Now, the scene size up really started this morning. It's sunny or is it cold? Is it raining? Is it snowing? That's when my true seed and size up starts. But for this purpose, I'm going to use mnemonic number two, which is pin man. And that pin man is going to, I'm going to use as to assess my scene. So that is personal, personnel safety, environmental hazards, number of patients, mechanism of injury, additional resources needed. Is there a need for extrication, possibly extrication from a vehicle or whatnot, and spinal immobilization? So actually holding spinal immobilization for a trauma patient. So once I appraise my pin man and appraise my scene size up, I'm going to move on to the primary survey. So verbalize the general impression of the patient. So what is it? Is it someone that was ejected from a car? Did they drown in the ocean? Was this a self-inflicted wound? I'm going to just get a general impression of that. Once I have that general impression, I'm going to move on to my third mnemonic, which is AVPU. Are they alert? Just alert, simply tracking well, looking at me as I come in the room, or are they alert only to verbal stimuli? Hello, hello, sir, can you can you hear me? And then they wake up. Or are they just alert to a painful stimuli? Is it a sternal rub or a trap pinch that they would respond to? Or are they just simply unresponsive? AVPU, that's the third mnemonic that we use. So once I do that, determine their level of consciousness, I'm gonna get their chief complaint. What is your chief complaint? Are you missing a leg? Did you just get hurt a little bit? What is that actual chief complaint? Can you talk to me? Can I assess that chief complaint? Once I get that chief complaint assessed, then I'm also going to treat any immediate life-threatening injuries. So from there, then we move on to a little bit more of that primary survey of another mnemonic, ABCs. That's airway, breathing, and circulation. So airway, is the airway open and maintainable without intervention? Or do I, as a BLS basic life support measure, do I need to add an adjunct, give them oxygen, or is it just completely maintainable without intervention? Now breathing, are they breathing adequately too fast or too slow? I'm gonna get my stethoscope out here and I will put it in my ears and I'm gonna check lung sounds in the upper lobes as well as the lower lobes. Are they actually breathing adequate? Do I need to assist in ventilations with a bag valve mask or are they fine? Now I'm gonna to go to circulation. So ABC, circulation, I'm gonna check their pulse. I'm gonna also use another mnemonic coming to you, CMS, that's capillary refill, motor, and sensor. So capillary refill, when you pinch the nail bed of your finger, all the blood gl goes out. You let go, and then the blood fills back in. That's a capillary refill. Well, how long did that take? Was it less than two seconds, above two seconds? That could tell me if they have adequate tissue perfusion or not. Motor sensory, can you move your fingers? Can you move your toes? Good. And then actual sensory, Okay, what, what finger am I touching? What toe am I touching? That's CMS. That's all encompassed of the circulation. I'm also going to treat the patient for shock at this moment as well, if indicated. So now I'm going to go into the more history taking. Another mnemonic coming to you live here is the sample history. So that is sample, sample history. S is signs and symptoms. A would be allergies. M, medical, uh, any kind of medications. Uh, P is past pertinent medical history, L is last oral intake, and E is events leading to, sample history. So events leading to, were they drinking alcohol before this? Or was there a fight or an altercation that got us to this point? Sample history. Once I get that sample history, now I'm going to get my baseline vitals. So for baseline vitals in the trauma assessment, the best thing to do is just baseline vitals is a blood pressure, your pulse, and your respirations. Well, I already got those, but the blood pressure for trauma patients, we don't want to rely on our automated monitor. We actually want to get that old school blood pressure cuff. And I want to know the top number, right? So your blood pressure, 120 over 80 is normal. I just care about that top number. And I want that number to be greater than 90. 
So how you palpate that blood pressure, you put the cuff on, you just check the radial pulse, you blow it up, check, and I'm just waiting for that radial pulse to come back into play. If it's below 90, then me as a paramedic, I could potentially intervene with an IV. There's different medications, shock treatment, the like. I want that number above 90. So now that we have the baseline vitals out of the way, uh, I am going to determine uh, load and go or stay in place. So does this person need, we need to load and go and give them what we like to call a high dose of diesel fuel, get them in the ambulance and get them to the closest trauma center, or can we stay in play? Can we stay here, package the patient, treat appropriately and get them going? So once we kind of package them and get them going, now I'm going to go to my detailed physical assessment, the secondary assessment, head to toe. Another big acronym coming to you is DCAP BTLS. I'm looking for deformities, contusions, abrasions, punctures, burns, tenderness, laceration, and swelling of the whole head to toes. So head, I'm looking at the head. I'm also going to check uh, the per, uh, their pupils. I'm just going to shine a light right in your eye. Look, you're right at my nose. Shining a light right in your nose. Good. Their pupils are equal and reactive to light. I'm going to check their neck for tracheal deviation. DCAP, BTLS, everything, that the mnemonic I just gave you, their chest, their abdomen, their pelvis. I'm going to do a priapism sweep. I'm going to check the extremities, all the extremities, as well as the back. And once I have all that, I'm going to reassess. I'm going to treat any additional injuries that my, I may have come across. I'm going to reassess as necessary. And we're going to get them going to the hospital. So that really is, in a nutshell, what we have to do. I have to recertify uh, every few years. I have to give this dissertation. But also, I use this to teach the new firefighters and paramedics coming into our department as well. So that's all I have. Thank you very much for listening up. I'm going to take off my PPE. I'm going to shoot it right at you. And back to you, Madam Toastmaster.